What's up guys, it's Adam here, aka Antisina Guy. I want to talk about the time I met Rob Van Dam, RVD from WWE. This is a review slash rant, <laughs> okay. Um, for those of you who didn't see my previous review, I did a review about the time I met Mickey James. You know, Mickey James and RVD were signing autographs together. You know, at this autograph signing based in Birmingham. And WWE were doing a tour at the time. And I was advertised to appear at this autograph signing because before that, because after that, I was going to do a show at the Birmingham NEC Arena, which I also attended. Now, what pissed me off so much about this fucking autograph signing was the way the fans were treated. Okay, meeting RBD and meeting Mickey James was not a problem. Mickey James was very sweet, she was very friendly. She was very happy to meet all the fans. I even shook her hand, you know. She even says to me, says, are you coming to the event tonight? And I went, yeah. And she was like, great to see you there. You know, she was in a psycho gimmick at the time, so she was trying to be in character. Um, I'll get to what RVD was like when I met, when I, when I approached him. But um, like I say, we arrived at the autograph signing half an hour early because we wanted to be the first ones in the queue to meet Mickey James and RVD. It was absolutely fucking pissing down with rain that day. You know, me and my friend got absolutely drenched and um, we were starving, we was dying for a piss, but we couldn't fucking leave the queue because we didn't want to lose our place in the queue. So we stood there in the rain and we stood there for three fucking hours that were late. I don't know if it's because of transport problems or scheduling problems. It's not RBD and Mickey James's fault. You know, the WWE superstars are constantly on the road. They need time in their hotel rooms to relax, but... If they don't do that, they're either in the gym or they're doing some kind of schedule. You know, it's not their fault, you know. But um, it's always bad luck when WWE superstars arrive hours late. And I've had that happen with many other WWE superstars that I've met. You know, they've not all been like Mick Foley, who turned up like an hour early before the event to greet the fans, you know. It's not always like that. Please see that review, by the way, at the time I met Mick Foley. So, for three hours, we waited... And then when the stars turned up, the security were fucking assholes, man. The security says, right, everybody, there's a rule. He says, the stars will only be signing these two DVDs. You need to purchase these two DVDs or else you can't enter the autograph signing. And one was an autograph, and one was a, um, a DVD of RBD, one of a kind. And the other one was one that starred Mickey James in Divas Do New York. And I said to myself, well, I already own those two DVDs. You know, I've got to rebuy those DVDs again just to enter the autograph signing. And I says to the security guard, and I says, look, I already own these two DVDs. I've got them at home. And he goes, you need to have them with you. And I was like, well, can't I buy some other two DVDs just to gain entry? And he says, no, he says, it needs to be these two DVDs. If you don't purchase these two DVDs, you're wasting your time. And I was like, I've just waited three fucking hours for this autograph signing in the pissing rain. And then they tell us this at the last minute. Why didn't they tell us this prior to the autograph signing on the website or something like that? Well, it's just WWE's way of trying to get money out of you. You know, or HGV where they were signing. It was just their way of trying to get money out of the fans just so they could greet these stars. So I ended up buying for these two DVDs again because being the Lord WWE fan that I was, I wanted to meet Mickey James, I wanted to meet RBD and have their autograph as part of my collection. So we gained entry, and to tell you the truth, it was like the worst autograph signing ever. It was like a very rough, like a rushed schedule. The scooter were like, move along, please, move along, move along. As soon as we had a signature scribbled on our autograph, he was like, okay, next please, next please. So we didn't have time to like talk to RBD and Mickey James. We didn't have like time to, we weren't allowed to have selfies. But as you can see at the start of this um you know, this start of this review, my friend managed to get a quick snapshot of me meeting RBD, as you saw at the start. You know, he managed to sneak a selfie in. Well, not much of a selfie, a snapshot of me meeting RBD. But it was so disorganised, it was so rushed, so not only did we have to wait three hours in the fucking rain, dying for a piss, dying for something to eat, we then get told we have to purchase two DVDs which we already owned, just to enter the fucking store. And that counts to be £35, £40, because them DVDs were like brand new releases so they were very pricey and um like i says mickey james was sweet but all we needed didn't really do anything other than just scribble his signature on my autograph and then we had to move along so i didn't get a chance to shake his hand i didn't get a chance to ask him a question 
So I can't really judge RVD, you know, about what he's like as a person because nothing really much happened. He just... And it wasn't a very good autograph either because his pen was running out or something, his marker, you know, and he didn't have enough ink to write on the autograph. So he just scribbled RVD on the picture and then I had to move along. So I wasn't really satisfied with the autograph. Again, this is not a blame on Mickey James. This is not a blame on RVD. It's just the way the schedule was and how we were all treated. You know, it was just totally out of order. You know, and, you know, waiting all that time and then having that bombshell dropped on us. I'm like, what the fuck, man, you know? <laughs> they say us WWE fans are the most loyal fans in the world and we get treated like that, you know what I mean? So, after waiting all that all that time, you know, it wasn't a very good outcome. Again, no complaints from Mickey James, she was sweet. But RBD, I can't really judge him or say anything about him because he just scribbled it on a piece of paper and then I had to move along, you know? We was all rushed to, to start to get the autograph session over and done with and... Man, it was a fucking nightmare. You know, it was so crowded, the room was. You know, we had to move along very quick. Again, I was just very unhappy with the autograph signing. The show was good later on that night. You know, I managed to get a front row seat to watch Mickey James and RVD wrestle. And the show was a good night. So, at least it wasn't like an entirely bad day. The show was well worth it. It was back in the Ruthless Aggression era, which they put on good shows back then. So, yeah. So, the autograph signing fucking sucked and... That's my rant side of things about meeting RBD, you know. But um, again, the blame is not entirely on RBD. It's just on everything else. So that's all I have to say. So stay tuned for more videos about WWE Superstars Love Men. Thanks, everyone. Please leave a comment. Peace out.